Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Polio Jr. And in today's video, uh, we're going to be doing a very short uh, tutorial um, on how to see which uh, applications um, have account access um, to your uh, Google account. Meaning, um, basically, over the years and so forth, you have downloaded apps and have accepted uh, certain permissions for them to view account info um, and even more than you think. So this was something that I went through recently and removed a lot of apps that I do not use um, and definitely do not need and just made sure that they had zero access to uh, any of my information you know, besides the ones that I actually um, used and needed. So, and part of this, um, this would kind of go in correlation with what just happened with Facebook, where they, um, I forget the company's name, but they downloaded um, the application, and then that third-party software gained a hell of a lot of information about people. So, um, let's just get started. Uh, this is the... Um, the URL you want to uh, visit, and it's myaccount.google.com. Uh, you can visit that uh, on any on any device, and from there, uh, we're going to go to sign in and security. And once we are in there, this is extremely easy. Um, apps with account access, and then you're going to see over here on the right hand side, apps with a apps with access to your account and then we're gonna hit manage apps so yesterday uh, I actually had um, <laughs> a, a, a plethora of apps just apps that I've been installing since uh, you know since 2011 I believe was when I got my first smartphone and I was just going down the list and going what the hell I don't even um, I don't even use half of this crap. I, I didn't. I didn't even use eighty percent of it. It was really the only ones um, I have left are the ones that I actually use. You know, so for instance, like I have uh, Thunderbird on my computer, so it has access to my Gmail. So if I were to let's see, click that, it tells me when I gave it access and what it has access to and so forth so and you can go through um, each individual um, application slash program because this one's actually a program and you can um, decide to remove that access so if there are um, third-party apps that you see um, and you no longer uh, trust them with the information <laughs> you no longer use um, you know, I would remove access from it. If, if you are positive that you don't know what it is, uh, you know, what the app is, or um, you don't use the app anymore, uh, make sure you remove access because they have the ability to gain um, that access and have um, a lot of specific information that could have been uh, fine print and that you have no idea about. So, um, that's really it for this video. Just wanted to give everybody um, a heads up and you know just be safe while um, because we, we we go online so much. We use our phones so much that we just we download all these you know um, these games and, and different kinds of applications for our phones and tablets and the computer, and we don't realize um, that we're just giving uh, our information away. Um, to these companies, you know, and some, you know, some are a little bit uh, uh, more unethical than others. So we want to be sure that we are, um, you know, using apps um, in, a, in an appropriate manner and making sure that they don't have, you know, all this access to our information because that's how, um, that's how breaches get made. That's how, um, identities get stolen and stuff like that and I'm not trying to sound like this like and like this is like the end of the world it's not um, but it's just to um, it, it's a nice checkup to do it's always a nice checkup um, because we use Google so much uh, that we want to check out 
um, what's going on in our account. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check this out. See which third-party apps have access to your information. And, um, and that is all. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.